so let me start this with this. We'll, we'll cut this and move it to the beginning of the video. This video contains no useful information <laughs> yes. to any of None. you. None it's, at all. It's Gordon and I messing around with something that has entirely too much power for us to be in possession of and uh, using it in ways to point out the ridiculous nature of product naming. Hey everyone, I'm joined by my favorite person to co-host with, Gordon from PC World. Gordon, we just talked about, is Intel screwed? And now this video is going up a little later, but we're gonna be talking about AMD's naming scheme for mobile CPUs. And to explain it, AMD gave us this decoding wheel. Uh, we both had the same thought. Gordon, do you wanna? Yeah, it's like, uh, if you have, if you need a decoding wheel with four levers of decode rings, you probably have too many CPUs. Five. So is it five? <laughs> five levels of decoding ring. It, maybe that means you're making too many par products. Maybe it's a little too confusing. It's a little too confusing. Yeah, the, the answer is, uh, you know, hey, you guys said the names are a little confusing. So here's the solution. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. We use Squarespace for our own GN store and juggle complex multi-piece orders all the time with it. Squarespace makes it fast for us to roll out new products with detailed pages full of galleries, videos, and descriptors. It's also useful for your own resume sites, for photographer or project portfolios, or for starting your new small business idea. There's never been a better time to try and start your new business than right now and we can vouch that Squarespace makes it easy. Visit squarespace.com slash gamersnexus to get 10% off your first purchase with Squarespace. So we're gonna talk about this thing. Uh, quick quick sort of disclaimer up front, this is before AMD has officially announced the Ryzen 7000 stuff. And so that means we're not informed on the desktop parts yet. And it's also about a week before they're even going to talk about the mobile names that this is talking about. So this is just Gordon and I discussing the naming schema and commenting on it. That's all this is. Yeah, so, and so. it really, it does, it's gonna make you confused because if you've seen it, you have, we want to do it from the inside. Let's have you do, yeah, why don't you walk us through it, Gordon? So we start with the year, so you have, uh, well, let's start with the actual next year. No, so but when does the year start? So it starts in 2023. No, 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 but when does 2023 start? Oh, when is it? It's it's not January first. Gen fiscal year? When is it? I can't remember. It's. I think the answer was it's when we launch a new CPU. Oh, when we launch a new CPU. <laughs> I'm pretty okay. Sure that was the answer. <laughs> so you will possibly have. So you have the uh, uh, year indicator, which is a new new nomenclature. So we have seven for 2023. Let's let's spin this wheel. This obviously after seven, by the way, comes eight. So right. now we get to eight. Right, so you get that 24. But it's 2024 when the CPU launches. Yes, and then as an indicator, you have and it can and it, and it might launch in, what, what's the face for? It might launch in, a, the CPU might launch in 2023, even though it's 2024 for the naming, remember? So this is the problem, this is what we're talking about. It's a little confusing. The, so it's the year on this decoder starts when the CPU relevant to the year launches, and it might be the year prior to the year on the decoder, but it'll be near the end of that year, therefore it's the next year. Okay, I think everyone's on the same page now. Well, I've explained that uh, Even better though, you, you do have Ryzen 5, which, hey, this is a Ryzen 5, right? So you have your second digit, so we have a, say an, an eight CPU followed by five, but you can also get a Ryzen five with the six. Let's let's make some names. Let's do this like a cooking show, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'll make a 2023 CPU with a Ryzen five six with Zen four. Let's turn this around so that it's even harder for me to do this. And then we'll go to, what the hell does that say? Lower segment. And then we'll go to you, which is 15 to 25 watts. Gordon, what have you created? I'm gonna just spin it randomly. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I, to be honest, I'm pretty sure that's what they're doing. I'm so. gonna just spin it randomly and let's see what we can create. I'm going to create... You can make a game show for this. It's like I'm gonna, Wheel of Fortune. I'm I would gonna, like to buy a nine. <laughs> I'm gonna do a, a, a seven, which is a 2023, a rise of nine, so seven, nine. Okay, that makes no sense, because it's a one. <laughs> So there's a one on here. So 
Obviously, I don't be confused because like this CPU I just made cannot exist because you would never have a Ryzen 9 with a Zen 1 core. But it can exist and on the wheel. And zero for lower segment and a U part. It doesn't, obviously. So 7910U. So I think the thing is, the, the concept is to introduce, now this would make more sense. And to be clear for everyone watching, uh, I don't know what the number is on this. You'd have to do like a factorial or something, but it's there's probably like, a, I don't know. It's gotta be at least like a few thousand combinations. So. Yeah, so this is a 7950U. So that could be a 2023 introduction, whenever, whatever 2023 means. <laughs> Ryzen 9, Zen 5 4, right? So hey, maybe we'll see that in the lower segment. Okay, that makes no sense. You are not going to see. So you would just- So I've got a 7640U. <sighs> Which is a 2023 CPU. I, I'll make this clear too. That's possible CPU. It doesn't mean it's going to be real. Uh, they said something about they only want to do two CPUs per thing. I don't know. That was confusing. I think it's, and then the thing is like this wheel is a way to familiarize you with the reality that AMD will be selling old cores with not that old cores right. with brand new cores. They will all coexist in mobile. Right. And remember, we're not talking desktop. Desktop is going to be the familiar nomenclature. Desktop will be to. easy. So, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I guess, you know, what this comes. So first of all, uh, once I leave this event and go home and actually decode it in a spreadsheet where it makes sense, we'll do a video explaining what, how it actually works. But for this one, I think what you're getting is uh, is is two two people who struggle to yeah and it's to to reconcile the fact that a business is making weird business decisions that make it difficult for consumers to understand. I, I think it's because it's too much power for us. This is too much power to give you. Because the thing is, if you could <laughs> this, make, this was a mistake to give to media. It's really cool because it <laughs> can be easily misinterpreted. But like right. this would make sense. So we could see a seven nine five five HS. Now that is a part because it would be Zen five. It would be well, but then the year makes no sense then too. So you would have to be like, okay, so you'd see like potentially a 9955HS. So that would be 2025, Ryzen 9, Zen 5 cores, higher segment, high end, and HS. So it could be like a mid-range TDP part. That's actually realistic. Uh -huh. So I think that's what you're going to get is, even though this seems like, oh, you could make mix and match, it's just, we're going to see a new naming schema for mobile that will tell you, that's gonna to try to tell you about all the different cores that are in it, or what's, what cores you're actually getting in a chip. Ah, uh, right. When it was made. And it really, to me, I was saying this earlier, I think it's, it's AMD growing up. Mm. And now I'm saying this for mobile because Intel, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, if Intel did this, it would be this long. It would be that long. <laughs> there was a point where you had 10th gen, <laughs> right. you know, Comet Lake cores. You had Ice Lake. You had Ice Lake. You had, you Tiger, had Tiger Lake. Lake. They were all, uh -huh. then you had like a, a five digit number series. You had a four digit number series. You had G7, There's which like was the, the G3, the G3. I7, like 12750 or whatever the names are. So. Then and, you had N. And the last digit's like a variable. It's like solve for X, yeah. where they're like, I don't know, it's fucking six. How about that? You like six? All right, we'll do a six. I think for consumer, it basically, they're not gonna make weird, wacky CPU just because the number allows you to. Right, probably. Probably, but it's it, what it means is you're gonna wanna pay attention to it. There's gonna be a, a new schema and that AMD is successful enough now in mobile, which is huge, to be able to sell really old parts to low cost markets. Right. With That's you know, the like, big thing, right? Is we were talking about, so like this has got two Ryzen 5s on it where they've got Ryzen 5 5, Ryzen 5 6. So one of the questions was, at what point do you just consolidate these and say, you know what, we're gonna make it less confusing and it's just Ryzen 5. And then we add numbers to this wheel, but then you pointed out, I think a problem where if, if they want Ryzen 5 with a 5 and Ryzen 5 with a 6, it's because they want at least like four CPUs or something. But then if you consolidate them into one, now it's possible to have weird numbers where it's not clear which CPU is faster. So, because uh, if you have like a, a 70, an 85, 
10. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's what it comes down to is you have to give put some trust in their actual market, the, the product lineup, uh -huh. because you're going to you're going to hope that if you have a bigger the the guidance is the bigger number is always going to be bigger. They're going to they're going to screw this up at some point. It feels like there's going to I there's mean no way there's going to be overlap screwed. where you will get parts that have a lower number. Yeah. I think that are going to be better. faster or better than well, especially some of when the you mix architectures numbers. like this. I mean, I know this is designed so you're not supposed to be able to get higher numbers worse, but yeah, I it's don't hard. Think that's, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be reality. No, because but the thing is, they have to sell old stuff because the this is a business reality thing. Grownups have to sell things to make money, and they're gonna sell lousy things, and they have to make you not. They have to be able to sell it to you, and they have to be able to try to present that information to you, but in a desirable way. In a desirable yeah. way. I mean, for of course, for us as snobs, we want just to like only make the best things ever. And the thing is, like, because, like, here's a good point. Like, you want to, like, if you're going to have 35 parts, yeah, uh -huh. why not just simplify? That's just too many. Apple. Uh huh. Apple M2. Right. It's just simply one thing. It's always better. Yeah, not really one thing, though, right? Is M2 always better? Right? I mean, they've, so they've gone the opposite yeah. where they have the ultimate in simplification. There's no model numbers. But if the, if the MacBook Air, M2 had an uh, an M2 55 uh -huh. E. Then yeah. like, oh well, I know it's not as fast as the M2, you know, uh, 55 HS in the in the MacBook Pro right. because it's it's the HS part. So like they went the opposite way and they oversimplified, and then people got angry because it's slower in right. the MacBook Air than it is in the MacBook Pro. Right. Do you think this is too much? Like let's, if we, so I guess what I, I think what's happening here is they're like, we, for some reason, still make and want to sell Zen 2 parts or whatever. Right. And I guess Zen 1's on there also. And so we want to be able to sell those, but we need them to have a new number, 7 or 8 or whatever, at the front of the SKU, because otherwise it sounds old, right? No one wants a Zen 2 yeah. part that starts with a 2,000 or a 3,000. 3, right. So, so is it just trying to shoehorn in the fact that they want a new bigger number at the start of the CPU name? Is that the only reason this exists? You know, that actually does bring a sticky point because it's like if you have an existing part that's an older, you know, 4,000 or 5,000 uh -huh. part and you now take the exact same thing at the same clocks to the same cache and you now give it a new part name. Right. There's... Are you trying to sell? People are going to go, well, you're now just trying to resell something old. Like if they just... If they just use the older part number right. and mix it in with a new one, because that's Cause like that's I, being honest. But then, right. if you're AMD, it's like, yeah, but now I've got like this old part number, and I've got this entire new schema. I've got to have it so all. So no fit. one's gonna want it. No right? one's gonna because want it, or it just doesn't. It's gonna be confusing. And then also, you have to it's, educate it comes your blue across, shirts. I know they. I know that the blue shirts. It's like the. It's like the Star Trek red shirts, except the blue shirts are from Best Buy. <laughs> yeah. If anyone was wondering what the blue shirts are when he says it, it means Best Buy sales staff. So, and, and any of the Best Buy sales staff watching this video is on such a higher level than the people we normally encounter. Yes. So, so yeah, is this, you know, it comes into a point where it's like, well, so we're being honest because if we tell you it's a 7610, we're telling you it's Zen 1 uh, because that's what the 10 is. So therefore, it's not hiding the fact that it's an older architecture because it's literally in the name. I think that's the defense, right? The problem I have with that is that nobody cares, nor will the average consumer understand this. But if you sold it as a Ryzen 5 1650U, it would be pretty clear it's Zen 1, even if it's a new part. But it's not as marketable because it sounds old. But because it is old. It is old. That's it's very the problem, old. right? So you're now, but you're taking that 1600 part and you're selling it into a $200 Chromebook, right? Or whatever it is, or you know, it's it's. So it's, it is a way to sort of like it does make it easier in a way because you can go to the chart and decode it on the same using the same decoder right. math, right? But it kind of, but it's like it's on. It strikes me as disingenuous, you know, like where the 
it's finding a method to rebrand old stuff and say, we're not saying it's new because we changed the naming schema. We're saying it's old, but not in a way that anyone realistically will understand. And, and most consumers are not going to look this up. Right. Like, I'm, you got a Best Buy, you have a, sorry, you have a blue shirt walking around on the sales floor with one of these, and, and someone says, excuse me, uh, is the 7615 better? Or is the 77, what the hell is this number? 20C better. Why is that a thing that you can even make? Oh my gosh. It's just, yeah. And the, the sales rep's like, hold on, allow me to check for you. <laughs> I don't know. Buy that one, it's more expensive. I, yeah, but I think that but what, what they're going for is bigger <laughs> numbers. Heavier. Bigger numbers better though. And I, I guess actually that kind of makes sense because if you're getting to the first digit, that's the year it was made and right. they're not introducing, well though. So if you introduce a Zen one with a new in 2025, does it get a nine? <laughs> I don't know. Right. I so hope you that could, wouldn't happen. You would hope that they would not be selling old parts. That old, yeah. In 2025. That would be like seven years old. That but, that it, but the thing is, I kind of wonder what happens if you do, so like you're doing, so you go, let's, let's do this. If you're going for a low cost market, say Chromebook, you could, you know, those honestly, Chromebooks are still sold with very, very old CPUs in them, yeah, right? Yeah, fair enough. So that would technically be a you're right, Zen. Gordon. You're right, Gordon. This is like way too much power. To get it is too much right. power to media because now we can make them look bad. But you, <laughs> because if you potentially have a Zen 3 part sold in 2025 and it's a Ryzen 3, uh, or the whole wheel is spinning. But I mean, it, you could, okay, I'm gonna go to Ryzen 3. Say, so let's make this, okay, so you could potentially see Zen 3 cores sold. It would be a low cost segment, right? Does this right. make any sense? Are you Does trying this, to make it make sense? Let's well, I'm trying it. to make it make sense. So like, you could potentially get, say like. An 8430E. Well, let's say 2025. So they moved on, it's, okay. we fast forward two years later. So would a consumer be like, oh my gosh, I want the nine because it's brand new but it's still using the older Zen 3 cores in a lower cost segment for Chromebooks. So like, so like a Chromebook user, low cost, and then older core, right. Ryzen 3. But then that nine, but do they go like- Here's a question for you. Now that I'm seeing you do this, is this number relevant? That's my new question. Yeah, the, it so, almost feels like the years, well. So if you turn this into a 7430E versus an 8430E, all of these are the same, right? So the right. technology remains constant. Right. But we're changing the year. And it seems odd to have your product name be contingent on a variable that is constantly, by definition, changing. Like, does that, does that not seem flawed? Because I mean, the year is, is functionally irrelevant to the entire rest of this name. Yeah, but I think what, it, I think what it's like, like, if I were to say, like, if I were buying a high-end 2025, CPU laptop from AMD and it's got a nine in it for 2025. Right. I know that's going to be basically the newest cores in 2025 for high end. Probably. Yeah. Oh, if yeah, I'm yeah. buying low end though, mm -hmm. it's the same thing, right? It's basically that you could potentially be getting the exact same CPU. Right. Right. And then do you switch, if they come out with a CPU that's a 8430E, so that's 2024. Do you change yeah. it and you're selling in 2025? You know, I guess you, see, you keep I the think, same model number. I think I would argue if I, maybe we'll talk to someone later about this from AMD. Uh, my argument, I think, now the argument I would make at this point is why is the year in the name at all if the year doesn't even start when the year starts or end when the year ends? Like, so now we've taken this thing that's a, that's a, a global constant of change and we're applying a variable of and it doesn't start when the year starts and it has no effect on the product other than marketability i guess because people think new or better so i mean you would still see a ryzen 9 9 something with the with the five with the zen 5 cores uh -huh. i mean it still feels like if you're a consumer you still care only about ryzen 9 ryzen 7 
Horizon 5, Probably, right? yeah. Is that your... I think so. Then, but then you get into the, I don't know. We have to, you have to trust in the companies hopefully not flooding the market with so many products that it is too confusing, but which generally doesn't happen because you don't, they don't sell a two-year-old gaming laptop against a new one. Normally. Normally. Yeah. Unless they're sitting on old inventory or something. Yeah. yeah. And that, that, that does get mixed up for people. That is going to happen, I bet. I bet that's going to happen like soon because the market slowed down. Right. And they were all producing as if the COVID sales figures would persist for eternity. For some reason, so I bet that'll happen. Yeah. So, what's what's our conclusion to this? Content? Our conclusion: the, the main takeaway you need to know, which is real information, is that there is a new naming scheme only for mobile that's coming. There will be a lot of confusion. Um, but don't worry. Uh, well, maybe. A Maybe worry. Maybe we're a little bit. Maybe worry a little bit. <laughs> but the good news for AMD fans is AMD is growing up because this is a good problem to have for AMD. Well, I mean, it's not because you have too many old parts. But AMD, again, literally non-existent in mobile five years ago. Like, right. you, like there was like no such thing as an AMD laptop. Yeah, frankly. that is definitely true. Yeah. Yeah. And so now people want AMD laptops. That's a good thing to have. Mm. So... So to quickly recap, and then hopefully once in between this time, when I have time to go home and decode this and explain it to you on a proper video, the quick takeaway is the first digit is the year. The second digit is if it's an, a Ryzen 3, an R3, an R5, an R7, whatever. So it's basically the sort of uh, positioning in the stack. Then the third digit is the architecture. And that is named mostly sequentially, except for Zen Plus stuff where you get a, a five, I guess, I don't know, whatever. And then the next one is the segment. We're just getting into really businessy stuff. So higher segment, lower segment. Uh, and then the last one, which is not a number, is a letter. And that is functionally the wattage, which I would maybe argue you should get rid of that and just put the watts, like the TDP, but then they have variable TDP, so they don't want to do that. Right. So. That's what the things mean, we think. <laughs> All right, do you, think, do you think that was helpful, Gordon? I think that was very entertaining. I think it's entertaining, and I think, <laughs> you know, the thing is, there's never a time when you do new product lineups that people are not confused. Right. So the, the, the chaos will be normal. Even when it's simple, like the iPhone X, people thought there was, it was one character for the name, and people still were unclear on, is it X or is it 10? So even when you go down to one letter, you're still screwed. Right. And uh, speaking of, you should check out PC World's videos because we talked about how screwed you are if you like mini ITX because Gordon doesn't. And you should check out why. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Gordon, thank you for joining me. And Thanks. We'll, Thanks for having me. We'll see you all next time.